Call the meeting of the City Council for Monday evening, August 24, 2015, to order. Please stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, counselors, Mr. Clerk, and our attorney and guest. Welcome uh, to our meeting this evening. Just a couple of quick comments before we begin. Council Dubois, um, text me. I like the word use text, not telephone call anymore. Text me, indicating that uh, she's on vacation and could not be here uh, this evening. And Councilor Barnes is uh, at a meeting in Boston, and she's uh, due to be here at any time. I also want to take time to uh, mention a good friend of ours and uh, a neighbor of mine, and uh, he was the former Ward 3 City Councilor for uh, a few terms, and that's Mr. Jerry Cassidy, who's in the audience uh, this evening. I see him sit sitting next to State Representative Michael Brady. So. Jerry, if you had any questions or comments, hold them, okay? <laughs> In any case, um, I think with that all being said with my work, Mr. Girls are going, the, the ladies are going to be uh, doing the work this evening. Go ahead. Okay. An appointment of Jean Derenoncourt, 15 Midland Street, Brockton, to the uh, Brockton Library Board of Trustees for a three-year term. Referred to finance. Appointment of Andrea Small Burton, 67 Bigney Ave, Brockton, to the Brockton Planning Board for a five year term. Referred to finance. Appointment of Harold C. Marrow, Jr., 230 West Street, Brockton, to the Brockton License Commission for a three year term. Referred to finance. Appointment of Carlos Varela, 40 Briarcliff Road, Brockton, to the Brockton Community Access Board of Directors for a three year term. Referred to finance. Appointment of Ulysses Varela, 40 Briarcliff Road, Brockton, to the Brockton Parks and Recreation Commission for a five year term. Referred to finance. Department of Officer David Santos of the Brockton Police Department as a weigher of trucks in the city of Brockton. Referred to finance. Appointment of Officer Antonio Randolph of the Brockton Police Department as a weigher of trucks in the city of Brockton. Referred to finance. Appointment of Dr. Joseph P. Pauly Cape, 750 Main Street, Brockton, to the Board of Trustees for the Brockton Public Library for a three year term ending August 2018. Referred to finance. Appointment of Amina Pilgrim, 10 Columbia Street, Brockton, to the Board of Trustees for the Brockton Public Library for a three-year term ending August 2018. Refer to Finance. Council Monahan. Yes, uh, Mr. President. I'd yes. like to make a motion to take number 10, 10 and 11 collectively and Second. act on them. Second. On the suspension of the rules tonight. Motion. Motion has been made to take items 10 and 11. It has been second. We'll take them collectively and to suspend the rules and act on them this evening. All in favor? Opposed? We will do so at this point in time. Mr. Clerk, confirmation by a roll call vote. Please call the roll. Um, I'm read the letter read. I'm sorry, you have the read, I'm sorry. My apologies. Reappointment of Maureen Cruz as the Director of Personnel for a three year term. Reappointment of David A. Farrell, 20 Rene Road, Brockton as the Director of Veteran Services for a three year term ending August 2018. Confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azad. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative. Seven in the affirmative. The confirmations have been adopted. I believe both are here in the audience, and we want to thank you, as always, for <laughs> appreciate it. Job well done by, uh, by both employees. We appreciate your service. Mr. President. Councilor DiNapoli. Move for reconsideration, hopes it doesn't prevail. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration, hopes it does not prevail. All in favor? Opposed? Reconsideration fails. Thank you. Ladies? Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of August 17, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Halifax Town Administrator submitting a letter supporting efforts in having money in the City of Brockton's fiscal year 16 budget that includes money for water quality efforts in Montpont. <coughs> Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Brockton Retirement Board election officer submitting the tally of votes for the election held on July 29, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Department of Mental Health, fiscal year 2016 jail diversion grant. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. The following 16 items were read in City Council July 27, 2015 and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. Appointment of Lawrence M. Siskind as a trustee of the Brockton Public Library for a three-year term ending in July 2018. That report was favorable. The questions on confirmation. 
by a roll call vote. The president, if I could, I just wanted Council to thank. Sullivan. I wanted to thank solicitor's office. As you remember, we requested uh, some information relative to uh, dates of service. Uh, and also compensation. We did receive those timely. And thank we, you, Mr. President. Did. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councillor. The question now is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. <clears throat> Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. I didn't affirm it. And the order is co confirmed. Reappointment of James L. Bates of 21 Ash Street, Brockton, as a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. That report was favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hazen. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Tanapoli. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. Ordered in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the special state primary will be held on Tuesday, October 6, 2015, and the special state election to be held on November 3rd, 2015. And that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Appropriation of 50000 from unappropriated fiscal year 2016 receipts of the general fund to law department personal services other than overtime for purposes of fully funding the newly created position of senior <coughs> assistant city solicitor, which was passed by ordinance number 156 approved on May 19, 2015. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Monahan. Yes. yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Appropriation of seven hundred thousand dollars <throat> from Massachusetts Department of Public Health Substance Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant to Office of the Mayor Substance Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant Fund. The purpose of this grant is to implement local policy practice systems and environmental change to prevent underage drinking and other drug use. There is no grant match from the city. That report was favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment? Opposed? The amendment passes. The question is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $20,000 from Massachusetts Department of Highway by way of Old Colony Planning Council's Fiscal Year 15 Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program for Pedestrian Bicycle Safety Grant to City of Brockton Police Department Fiscal Year 15 Traffic Enforcement Grant Fund. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $8,315.79 from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, EOPSS Supplement CSI Local Action <coughs> Partner Research Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used to pay for evaluation efforts of the work being done under the Shannon Grant. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $54,863.79 <coughs> from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, EOPSS, Fiscal Year 2015 Shannon Community Safety Initiative Supplement Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department Shannon Community Safety Initiative Supplement Grant Fund for police overtime, summer jobs for Shannon youth, and programming for Shannon youth who are case managed by the Old Colony Y staff. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Ordered that the Department of Planning and Economic Development is hereby authorized to accept and expend the $7,500 grant from the Massachusetts Historical Commission 2015 Survey and Planning Grant Program 
for the downtown Brockton preservation project. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azab. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <laughs> the order is adopted. Council Sullivan. I want to make a motion that we read collectively agenda items 27 through 33. Second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded that we're going to read items 27 through 33. All in favor of that? Opposed? Ladies. Order that the sum of 400000 is appropriated to pay costs of stormwater management planning, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the mayor is authorized to borrow said amount under pursuant chapter 44 and or chapter 29C of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the city. In accordance with the section 5 of chapter 324 of the acts in 1990, the, certi the CFO certifies the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of 400,000 for stormwater management planning, provided that the city obtains the authority in, of the voters by the means of a referendum to include the annual cost of the debt service from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half. This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of the City Council order. Order that the sum of 1200000 is appropriated to pay costs of purchasing a new fire ladder truck and for payment of all costs incidental and related thereto and to meet that and to meet this appropriation the treasurer with the approval of the mayor is authorized to borrow one million two hundred thousand under and pursuant to general laws chapter 44 section 7 <coughs> parentheses 9 of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the city and in accordance with the Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, the, cert the CFO certifies the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of $1.2 million in order to purchase new fire ladder truck, provided that the city obtains the authority of the voters by the means of a referendum to exclude the amount, the annual costs of the debt service from the provisions of Proposition 2.5. This is a conditional certification which must be included in the face of the City Council order. That this order that the sum of 1,840,000 1, is appropriated to pay costs of sewer system improvements, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and to, that to meet this appropriation, the tre meet this appropriation. The treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under pursuant to Chapter 44 and or Chapter 29C of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the city. In accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, the CFO certifies the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of 1,840,000 for various sewer system improvements, provided that during the life of the loans, the City Council periodically adopts a rate structure, which is capable of fully supporting all operating and maintenance costs of the sewer enterprise system, including debt service. This is a conditional certification must be included with the face of the City Council order. In order that the sum of 3,810,000 is appropriated to pay costs of improvement in various water mains, including payment of all costs incidental and related thereto. And that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with approval of the mayor is authorized <coughs> to borrow the said amount under pursuant to chapter 44 and or chapter 29C of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling <coughs> authority to issue bonds or notes of the city. In accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, the CFO certifies the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of $3,810,000 to pay costs of improvement to water mains, provided that the City Council enacts a rate increase of 30% on each rate block as required by the Water Commission, provided that further, if the increase is enacted in phases, that the full effect of that increase is reflected on all 
Billings mailed no later than January 1st, 2017, and provided further that thereafter the City Council periodically raises rates as necessary to ensure that the water revenues are sufficient to provide full recovery of the cost operating and maintenance of the Water Enterprise Fund, including costs of debt service. This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of the City Council order. That the sum of $4,880,000 is appropriated to pay costs of water improvements, including payment of all costs inc incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, authorized to borrow said amount under pursuant to Chapter 44 and or Chapter 29C of the General Laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the City. In accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, the CFO certifies the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of $4,880,000 to pay costs of water improvements at Silver Lake facility. Provided that the City Council enacts a rate increase of 30% on each rate block as requested by the Water Commission, provided further that if that increase is enacted in phases, that the full effect of that increase is reflected on all billings ma mailed no later than January 1st, 2017, and provided further that thereafter the City Council periodically raises rates as necessary to ensure that the water revenues are sufficient to provide full recovery of the cost of operating and maintaining the Water Enterprise Fund, including the cost of debt service. This is a conditional certification which must be included on the face of this order. All of these orders were in finance mm -hmm. July 27th. Oh. And they were favorable. In number 32, ordered that the sum of 642000 is appropriated to pay costs of purchasing vehicles for the use of various city departments as set forth below vehicles including the payment of all costs incidental thereto. One transit van for public property department, 27,000. Six marked and four unmarked police cruisers, 310,000. One box truck for the school department, 78,000. One bobcat for the school department, 47,000. Two sander trucks for the DPW, 180,000 for a total of 642,000. And to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with approval of the mayor is authorized to borrow $642,000 under and pursuant to general laws chapter 44 section seven in parentheses nine of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the city. In accordance with section five of chapter 324 of the acts of 1990, the CFO certifies the proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of 642000 for various city vehicles, <coughs> provided that the city obtains the authority of the voters by means of the referendum to exclude the annual cost of debt service from the provisions of the Proposition 2 and a half. This is a conditional cert certification which must be included on the face of the City Council order. Ordered that the sum of 234000 is appropriated <coughs> to pay costs of purchasing all items in department <coughs> rental equipment described below and the payment of all costs incidental in thereto. Wide format color copier slash printer for the planning department, 14000 Voting machines for the Board of Elections, 220000 for a total of 234000 And to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the mayor is authorized to borrow $234,000 under and pursuant to general laws chapter 44, section seven in parentheses nine of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the city. In accordance with section five of chapter 324 of the acts of 1990, the CFO certifies proposed appropriation and borrowing authorization of 234,000 for departmental equipment, provided that the city obtains the authority of the voters by means of a referendum to exclude the annual cost of the debt service from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half. This is a conditional certification which must be included in the face of the city council order. 
both of these orders were in City Council June 27, 2015, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance, and the report was favorable. And on those items read, Council, the question is now in a passage to a third reading. All in favor? Opposed? They pass to a third reading. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. Uh, in light of the fact that Councilor Dubois is on vacation, she uh, contacted myself and my colleague from Ward 5 asking that uh, uh, agenda items 34 and 35 um, be voted on acting under suspension rules this evening. Second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded that we take items 34 and 35 collectively and that we're going to suspend the rules and act on, act on them this evening. All in favor? Opposed? <coughs> Ladies, read the items, please. Ordered the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue two single family home sewer connections to the property owned by William Callahan, located at 124 Bellevue Street. Lots 1 and 2, as shown on Plan 333 of 2015, recorded at the Plymouth County Registry of Deeds. In order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue one single family sewer connection to the property owned by Lewis and Helena Andre, located at Glendale Street. Mr. President, 10 and 11. Council Sullivan. I do want to make notice that the applicants, the Andres, are here. They're in the chamber tonight. Thank you, and we, pre and we appreciate you being here as well. Thank you. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. And the orders are adopted. Order that the mayor and or treasurer be authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to sell to Everett's Realty LLC, having a usual place of business at 561 Dapter Street, Brockton. The parcel of land located and known as the vacant land off of Dapter Street in Brockton, Mass. The purchase price for the said parcel of land shall be $7,500. And then refer to the Committee on Finance, on, excuse me, the Committee on Real Estate. Mr. President, Councilor Denapoli. I'd like to move on item number 35. Uh, uh, I just, oh yeah, we already did suspense the wrong. <laughs> just motion for reconsideration in hopes it doesn't prevail. Second. <laughs> on just item 35. On, 30, on 30, uh, 34, 34 and 35, Mr. President. Second. Right. On items 34 and 35, move for reconsideration hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Thank you, Councilor. <laughs> the appropriation of $45,000 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Massachusetts oh, Department of Mental Health, Police Based Jail Diversion Grant 2015. <coughs> the City of Brockton Police Department Jail Diversion Grant Fund. This grant gives the Brockton Police Department overtime, overtime funds to continue to train first responders in the specialized field of mental health first aid. The goal for this grant is to also divert from arrest when possible individuals with mental health and or behavior issues. Also, this year, the additional hiring for part-time clinician to work in the Plymouth House of Correction with inmates to render mental health and follow-up services both inside and upon their return to Brockton. That's referred to the uh, Committee on Finance. Councilors, just before we go any further, in case some of you have uh, some moments that you want to uh, speak, I do want to indicate that our finance meeting for September is going to be September the 8th at 7 p.m. here in the council chambers. That's the day after the Labor Day holiday. That's Tuesday, September the 8th. Reason being is I have some commitments following uh, the week uh, the 14th, 15th, and the 14th is Rosh Hashanah. And then the week after that, the 21st, that's the night before primary. Some of our colleagues are going to be getting ready for a primary um, uh, election day that day on the 22nd, so that's why I'm moving it to the 8th. September 8th, 7 p.m. finance, and then we'll have city council on the 28th of September, and then we'll start to get back in routine of being back into um, our regular schedule. So please, whatever you can do, all, all hands on deck for the 8th, if you, if you can, please make sure I appreciate it. Council, is any other, uh, Council Sullivan? Council Stadinsky, I'm sorry. Yes, we'll, we'll take uh, the uh, my attention, Excuse me, my attention is to call a real estate meeting on that item number 36 on September 8th, okay. 6.30 p.m. Great, so there is a real estate committee meeting, 6.30 p.m. on that evening, September the 8th, right in our, our committee room, correct? Correct, thank you okay. very much. Okay, you're welcome, Mr. Chairman. Council Sullivan. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may, Council. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate my parents, Robert and Susan Sullivan, uh, proud Ward 2 residents who just celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, very good, yeah. nice. Yeah. 
Our very best wishes to the uh, Sullivans in celebration of their of their 50th wedding anniversary. Anything else, uh, councils? Anything? Uh, no one wants no, nothing. Boom, bang. That's it. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>